Hello, John here again. Good to see you. How are you all? Um, yesterday I didn't do a, a vlog, missed one out. I had my younger son over, who lives in England, he came to see us. I hadn't seen him for about four months, so that was good. That used all the day up. Um, I was talking about nature the other day, about um, housing and farms and so on, and uh, how the na nature might fit into that. Well, it brought up a comment and then suggested another side to all that, and that is this, that some species of birds and animals are frowned upon, even persecuted, because they kill other animals. Um, one clear example in this country is magpies are sometimes persecuted because they eat baby birds of the songbirds, the thrushes and the blackbirds and the uh, blue tits and so on. Let me say something before I do. Magpie, absolutely fantastic looking bird. It's like a, a black and white parrot. It's beautiful. Um, they're in the garden often. In fact, there's a tree just up here where they were uh, nesting. Fantastic looking bird. And I'm thinking if they were rare birds, we think they're even more fantastic because they're common. We sort of think that they can be less important, which is a bit strange. Um, so, yeah, the uh, magpies uh, will raid the nests of nesting birds and the birds have to nest well away where the magpies can't get at them, otherwise they'll eat the baby birds. Now this has led, in some quarters, in the countryside in particular, to people shooting and killing the magpies. And basically what we're doing there is interfering with the balance of nature. Now, we, it might be right to do that at some point, but I think we've got to be very careful about it. And it also, it grates with me that people do this. After all, let's think of the maths behind it. And that's maths with an S, by the way. Um, a blue tit and its mate will lay eggs, and they might, may lay six, seven, eight eggs, and have that many number fledge. So within a month or so, in the breeding season, blue tits will produce, let's say, six babies. So six extra blue tits suddenly appear in the population. First there were two, and then there are eight, because the blue tits have produced six. Those blue tits will then produce another brood in the same season. So produce another six. So that's 12 plus two, that's 14 birds, where previously there were only two. Now, to maintain the population, and let's suppose that the blue tits only last, let's say, two or three years, which I think they might do. Some birds can last a very long time, actually, but these don't. Um, so if they're producing an extra 12 birds, on average, every year, after two or three years, only two of those need to survive. So in three years, they might have produced 36 birds, and only two need to survive to maintain the population. So 34 birds have got to go. And that's where the magpies come in, because they eat them. And it so happens they found out that if the birds are uh, consumed by the magpies and eaten and killed, then the blue tits just breed more. That's it. Nature appears to be cruel. I'm just thinking, though, I don't think nature's cruel at all. It doesn't care. It, it, there's no sense of cruelty or kindness about it. They just do what they do. Um, the magpies just eat birds. After all, the blue tits eat insects. And nobody's thinking, oh, poor insects, they're all getting eaten. Um, now, I know sometimes the species can get out of balance and there can be an excess of a certain type and a cull needs to take place. That might well be true. But by and large, I think we've got to be very careful the way that we interfere. Somebody once spoke about buzzards, uh, which is a beautiful and very common um, bird of prey we've got now. And, and it was eating other birds and, the, and he was frowning about their existence. I thought, but they're a beautiful bird and they're part of nature. And I, I'm, I'm thrilled to see them. And to think that anybody was uh, persecuting them because they were preying on other birds. It's a very dodgy thing. I can't just say, no, don't do it, because sometimes it might be the wise thing to do, because some species can get out of hand. But by and large, I think you've got to be very, very careful about how we interfere with what nature is doing. 
Um, I don't know what you think. Hey, that's five minutes, almost dead on. I'm going to stop. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.